without any doubt google play store is the largest app market on the planet on any platform this results partially from google trying to make their platform easier to develop apps for in its effort towards that goal google allows app developers to release their under development apps on the play store as well so here we bring you a list of five amazing unreleased apps that you should be trying in 2018 excited so let's get started Now before we get started, I would like to tell you that if you guys will find this video useful then do consider subscribing and press the bell icon so that you get notified for our future videos. So now let's start with our first app which is known as Focus Go. Nowadays with so many apps trying to offer every single feature imaginable, some creators decided to go in the opposite direction with a minimal less is more attitude. Focus Go is an app that would fit in more in the latter group as an image gallery that stands out for how lightweight it is, taking up only 1.4 MB and for focusing on the basics, letting you view your photos in order and share them easily. It does not offer a photo editor but instead lets you choose whichever editor you prefer. Basically it sticks to what it does best, letting you view your images in the order they reaches your device and zoom in one of them. Many people have fallen in love with the pure Android aesthetics thanks to the Pixel launcher. The problem is that not everyone can afford a Google Pixel or its skin. But luckily the Android ecosystem is full of pleasing surprises. Launcher is an Android launcher that emulates its aesthetics and relevant functions but does not require nougat to work. It's without a doubt one of the best launcher of the year and better yet it's completely free, open source and highly customizable. If you are someone who relies on online sources such as Reddit, Hacker News, Medium, etc. for your news, then Catchup may interest you. It may look so at first, but this is not a super app that will replace individual apps for these sources on your phone. I wish, but it is far from it. Catchup will only display stories and posts from a website's front page. Since it does not require you to link your Reddit or any account at all or even create any, there is no way to personalize your feed. You can tap on any of the links to open them within the app or launch them in a respective app if installed on your device. It is true that Cortana still needs some work but it has too much potential to leave off of a list like this. Microsoft's answer to Siri has a ton of things that it can do and it's integrated into Windows 10 for near seamless cross-platform support. Among its many features include the ability to call people, send SMS and email, track packages, tell jokes, take notes, add stuff to calendar and more. Again, it is a little rough around the edges right now. It's still better than most, plus its active development should make it better over time. Flick Launcher is neither trying on a new concept nor it is something really basic. It still does manage to stand out though. Flick Launcher packs in so much, it can get a little confusing for novice users. If I had to make a bold statement, I would say it has many more features than Nova Launcher and they are not features you can ignore. Features like locking apps and folders with fingerprint or password, custom actions based on proximity sensor reading makes it stand out. But by far my favorite thing about this launcher is adding blur to the app drawer background. It's dope. There are tons of other things that can't possibly all be mentioned here. So guys, these are the top 5 picks of unreleased app on Play Store that you should be trying right now. If you think we should have added some more apps to the list then do let us know that in the comment section and if you find this video useful then do consider subscribing and hit that bell icon so that you never miss any future video from Extreme Droid. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.